All right, so time to practice some binomial geometric distributions, okay? All right, so once again, my favorite, the baseball player. Okay, so let's say that we've got a baseball player, Tony, and he's batting 350. So Tony, uh, probability of getting a hit is equal to 350, so that's 0.35. Okay, so that means Q is definitely going to be 0.65. Okay, so let's say Tony starts off a game, and what is the probability he will get a hit since he's batting leadoff? He'll probably get four to five at bats. Let's say what's the probability of getting a hit within five at bats? Okay, now this is definitely going to be a binomial because we know what n is going to be. n is going to be five, okay, and we definitely know that k is going to be one. Okay, so as we work on it, we're definitely going to go uh, 5 choose 1 times probability of 1 hit, so that's 0 0.35 times uh, 0.65 to the 4th power, because we want to get at least 1 hit, or just probability of getting a hit within the first 5 at-bats. Okay, alright, so that's definitely that one. Right. Now, if I wanted to say what was the probability of Tony getting a hit in a game, this could go to extra innings. Okay. All right. So once again, his batting average is still 0 0.35. Okay. However, we have not specified uh, the amount of hits that we're just working on. So the probability of getting at least one hit. And I wanted to say something last time, but I forgot to say it. Uh, with, so this is geometric, so this is geo, and this is bio, or binomial. Okay, all right. Uh, in this one, you could actually find the probability of x equals zero. In this one, no x equals zero, because we have to go until we actually get the hit. Okay, so this one, whenever you're working with geometric settings, okay, there is going to be no x equals zeros when you actually work with this. So if you find you're dealing with a problem where x equals zero, you're finding a situation where you get no hits, you're probably more than likely dealing with a binomial because we don't want to do that in geometric because geometric is just straight up, we're going to keep going until we actually get the hit. Okay. And so what you're going to do is probably five at bats in there. You'll just keep calculating until you actually get that hit. So you'll do a little simulation in there. And it's going to be times the 0.65, however many times we need to go. Okay? All right. And that's it for more binomial and geometric distributions and some little strategies on how to work with both. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.